Hello, welcome back to James Bond CCG Theater. Remember the last video? There's a bunch of stuff there. I finished it all. So this is the James Bond Hybrid Cube I finished. People are familiar with like Magic the Gathering cubes. You got a bunch of cards in one big block and you can draft them out and make random decks. This is a hybrid cube. If people know the Bond rules. If you mix all this stuff together and follow the rules, it'd be very hard to make decks that were cohesive. So there's 35 card movie packs for each movie from Dr. No to Die Another Day. 20, people can pick what they want or they can roll for it. And when you get the 35 cards, you get a bunch of extra random cards here and you'll make take 35 out of them and add them to the 35 for a 70 card deck. We've got some bonds back here. She's so always gonna guaranteed bonds and this is just everything else here. Um, autograph stuff that's in here, I pulled. I got a bunch of stuff on the table we're gonna take a look at. Um, this binder I didn't show last time. This is um, the, my expansions done up in PDF, printed out on actual cardstock. This was um, the, the guy who did the PDFs for me, uh, Eugen, my friend from uh, Switzerland. He did print this stuff up on ArtScout, sent it off to me, and I uh, really appreciate it. The back of this binder has some uh, Moonraker stuff. Remember the Moonraker set? This stuff here is not featured on the table, so I wanted to show it here. These are old um, templates before they were redone like this. So I got these autographed before I had like the redone new stuff. Um, this is on the table in a newer form. These two are not, unfortunately, and I didn't run them in the cube. I ran the newer versions. So Lana Wood, David Hedison. Got that through the mail. That's a convention. Uh, convention, both Maryland. Uh, this is my original Granite Tree card years before I started the expansions in 2012. This is a card that is not featured in the expansions at all just here and this is a card I made that was later featured in the expansions this is some of the original Paul Casper stuff that was just printed out I've had printed out and cut out for years anyways I'm going to transfer over we got mod up here I'm going to start just with this I got this um, I bought this at the convention I wanted a, a nice picture of her with that octopus robe on to get signed I couldn't find anything but I found it in this book it looks really good she even said it was a beautiful picture. It is. The rest of the stuff I'm going to show is all going to be in card form. But that's pretty cool. The promotional booklet for the movie. Okay, so first off, here's the envelopes I saved from the, some of the people that sent stuff back to me. This has my handwriting on a lot of it because it was my return envelopes in the stuff I sent them. That's right, Christopher Lee. Uh, Julian Glover with a Julian Glover autograph here. I have it in card form too. Topple. Fiddler on the roof. Unbelievable. That's right. Dame Shirley Bassey. Monaco. Dame Shirley Bassey. Back through the mail. Can you believe that? Eagle Designs. I think this is um, Jane Seymour. I think it's Jane Seymour. Stephen Burkoff. Octopussy. Clifton James. Another Clifton James. There's a story to be had there. And these, this is, I believe, um, Claudia and Auger. Thunderball. Another one. And I do not remember what on earth this is. Okay. So we're going to go into it here. This is all the autograph stuff I have. I pulled out of my cube to show. Um, this is an old template card that I got signed before I had the new stuff. But because it stores Lazenby, I run it in the cube because it's just too good not to run. It's unbelievable. To the George Lazenby. I remember when I showed these cards to him, he's like, oh, you're a bit of a gambler, aren't you? You're a bit of a gambler. <laughs> um, Paula Kaplan. She, again, Martine Beswick. She uh, played a gypsy too. Um, I got this one in uh, Monster Bash in Mars PA. Very nice lady. Uh, one of many Maud Adams cards. Octopussy. Uh, Maryland, it's a couple years ago. Chime Topple, Fiddler on the Roof. For Your Eyes Only, Dr. Zarkov and Flash Gordon. Back through the mail. I was surprised. He's still alive. Uh, John, John Rice Davies, he is on the card right there, laying down. Uh, he played, of course, Sala in the Indiana Jones films. Great guy. I gave him a copy of uh, the card I made for him, General Pushkin. He was very happy. We talked about it. Awesome guy. So a lot of times it only occurred to me the last time after I saw him probably two times previously to actually get him to sign a bond card. Here's the only Honor Majesty Secret Service card in the original 1995 set. So of course I had to get that signed. That's probably not George Lee's gonna be on the card there. It's probably a stunt double, but you know, 
obviously I gotta get this card signed. And I'll tell you, that's definitely his signature. And that is just beautiful. Creature from the Black Lagoon, Rico Browning. He played the creature underwater. Uh, Bud Chapman played him on land. Rico Browning was did the underwater photography in Thunderball. He also created Flipper. Uh, he's still alive too. Awesome guy. It's one of a few of his. Uh, new template. Paper with a backing. 2019. So I got the older version I showed you in the binder. That's the newer one. Looks better. Uh, Gypsy, Martin Beswick. Mars Convention. Same one. And that's Dame Shirley Bassey through the mail. I still can't believe that one. Unbelievable. She sang the theme song to Goldfinger, Diamonds of Forever, and Moonraker. I think they were also going to have her do the theme song to Skyfall, but then they ended up getting Adele. And I'll say I like that song. <laughs> My Italian seductress, Luciana. Still only have the one English copy of her and no other copies. It's crazy, this set. So rare, some of these cards. What do we got next here? Uh, Rico Browning. Now, what do we have here? So, I only had a few domino cards, and they're hard to get. So, this is a paper copy behind here. I wasn't sure if I sent anything to Claudine Auger, if I had the right address, or if she'd sign it or anything. So I sent her a paper copy of the domino card saying, I really hope you sign this, blah, blah, blah. Another note that's gone now, I guess. Um, and I said, if you do sign this and send it back to me, I'm going to send you the actual card. Hopefully you can sign that. So she sent me the, one of the, she signed one of the notes I gave her, Claudine Auger. And then the paper card here, the back is signed by her, Claudine Auger. And then this is the actual card she signed. I sent a uh, one that wasn't in great condition because I didn't know if I get it back. The signature is in pen, so it's not that great, but Claudine Auger's signature on a domino card. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Um... She unfortunately passed away not that long after I got this back. Thank you, Claudine. Luciana again on Blowfield's Assassin, done in green. I think it looks great. Thank you for the hugs. Rico Browning again, underwater vehicle. Same convention. Uh, Karine Dor, I believe her name, her name is. Um, I think she passed in like 2014, I believe. Uh, not that long after I got this. This was through the mail. Um, it's very surprising. People can get through the mail. Uh, Trina Parks. That's a Maryland convention. She's friends with someone I'll talk about in a moment. Um, Trina Parks played the, uh, the half of the tag team, the white and the black females that kicked the crap out of Connery. Uh, she is the black lady. Very nice person. And there she is there. Uh, paper with the backing. Now, <laughs> let's say I didn't, you didn't see... Oh, actually, no, I can show you that. Okay, hey, who is this? Clifton James, 007. He played Sheriff J.W. Pepper in the two movies, Live and Let Die and Man with the Golden Gun. He's in his 90s. He lives in, in New York. I found his home address online. And people are saying, hey, you can send stuff. You can probably get it signed. I'm not sure if his kids or anyone helped him out with it. Um, I had the card in the sleeve. Unfortunately, he signed the sleeve, right? So, oh, that's, you know, thank you so much. It's amazing. I, you signed my thing, but, ooh, you signed the wrong thing. So I said, okay, let's see if I can do it again. So I sent him next time a card without a sleeve, hoping he'd sign it. And luckily he did. It's not on the plastic, that is on the card. Thank you so much. And he unfortunately passed away months after I got this back in the mail. So that was really cool. Thank you very much. And this was through the mail. Um, had to donate some money to her, which is fine. Took a little while to get back. Lady Jane Seymour. Absolutely. This is out of focus. I know. It's going back. Uh, absolutely beautiful autograph. I'm having some problems here. Okay. That was through the mail. Took a while. Really cool. Through the mail also. Christopher Lee. So that's amazing. Uh, 
those are mod items. Uh, I showed you this one before, it was in the binder. As the backing, I decided to put it in the cube, because why not? It, it's a marked card, but whatever. And here we go. Jaws. Uh, again, I can't remember the year it was. 11, 12, 13 in uh, Mars, the Monster Bash Convention. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. He has kind of um, the Jaws teeth marks there. The rest of them he signed in a different way. This one looks the best. It's just a more simpler signature. And I got that repeated because there's... Um, she was at a convention, another Monster Bash I wasn't able to go to. Um, one of the guys there, was able. I was able to send him something, he got her to sign it. Man, do I appreciate that. Really cool. She's in a bunch of Hammer Horror stuff. Um, this I got, I think it was Fan Expo in Toronto. It was a big show or a small one, I don't remember which. Um, this is Jeremy Bullock. He's a HMS Crew Ranger in the credits, but in the movie. Uh, he's even referred to as Andrews on screen. It's bizarre they don't have him as Andrews in the credits. But uh, Jeremy Bullock, he uh, was uh, Boba Fett, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. He's, I gave him this card. We were talking about Bond. He seemed really happy to talk about it. Uh, I assume he's probably just answering Star Wars questions all the time, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's two more Jaws cards for the Moonraker deck. I just pulled them all out. And, aha, uh -huh. Max Vesterholt. She's... In uh, Fear Eyes Only, she plays Backrat with Roger Moore in the uh, Grease Casino. Her scene is cut, but you can still see her in the movie. She doesn't have any speaking parts. Um, I, I became Facebook friends with her, and I talk with her off and on. I just talked with her like the, the day after I posted that last video I put up. So, if you're watching, Max, <laughs> hello. I'll probably talk to you soon. Julian Glover. Villain of Free Eyes Only, got him through the mail. He's also the main, uh, not uh, not the Nazi, but the other old uh, villain in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So, man, really cool. And there's Max Vasterholt on this card right there. That's her. Uh, Maud Adams. Now, Steven Burkhoff. General Orlov, another uh, Clifton James scenario where I sent him the thing. Unfortunately, he sent this. He signed the sleeve. I sent him another card back. I didn't get it. However, I just talked to somebody on his website yesterday. They gave me a new address and everything. So I'm going to send him something off. Uh, I don't have any more Orlovs I'm willing to lose. But I'm sending him a Soviet war room. So in a couple of months, I might have that that I can show signed on the channel. Uh, Octopusy Circus, another Mod Adams. Palace, Mod Adams, and you know, Mod Adams herself, it's beautiful. Still shocked I was able to get this. That was uh, Maryland 2019, last convention really I've gone to. Octopus, Mod Adams, Mod Adams, Mod Adams, Mod Adams. Uh, Alan Harris, now I was trying to remember this. I don't remember if this guy, Alan Harris, played Bosk in Empire Strikes Back. He might have. I don't remember. Um, in The Living Daylights, he is the white-haired guy you see at Q Branch. He's also in some publicity shots of the movie because he was there in Q Branch the day Prince Charles came to the set. So there's pictures of that. He was at a Mississauga convention a couple years ago. Uh-huh. Uh, Miriam Dabo. Yeah. Paper. So the actual good one's coming up. There we go. Pushkin. John Rice Davies. That's, uh, I gave him a card of that. He's very happy with it. With it. And then, boom. Miriam Dabo. Uh, she is... Uh, she was what? That is... I'm, I'm blanking here. It, it was Maryland. It was Maryland. I'm not sure what year, 17, 18. She's very nice. I gave her a copy of this card. She's very happy. <laughs> and boom. Okay, we got a combo here. So, this was, I believe, Niagara Falls Comic Con. That's Richard, uh, Robert Davi, the villain, Fran Sanchez. David Hedison, Felix Slater, I got him first, and I got him through the mail. So, that's awesome. 
and he, uh, Robert Davi was laughing at this. He's like, I remember this. Robert Davi's really great. And then Robert Davi. And this card's beautiful. Xenia. Tom Jensen, that was I uh, fan expo. I think it was a fan expo. I'm blanking now. It was in Toronto, definitely. It was a wizard con or a fan expo, one or the other, a couple years ago. Couldn't get a picture, but I got that, and it's awesome. And last one, Mads played the villain in Casino Royale. He was appearing at fan expo that year because I guess Hannibal, the TV show, was still going or was wrapping up, so that's why he was there. So. It's not exactly Casino Royale, but hey, it's close enough, and it's pretty sweet. And that is it. Um, on top of Stephen Burkhoff going out, I got a couple other ones going out. I'll keep a wrap on it in a couple months, hope, or a couple weeks, a couple months probably. Hopefully I get something back in the mail. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you later.